It's a commonly held concern by clients uh, and one that's raised with us all the time. Um, from the perspective of bringing a claim, the um, employer should not treat you any differently at all. You have exactly the same employment rights um, that safeguard against your employer treating you unfairly or dismissing you as a result of bringing a claim um, as any other employee in any other circumstances. So purely by bringing a claim shouldn't make any material difference at all to the relationship that you have with your employer from the perspective of the law. Before you can sue anybody, you need to be able to show that they actually owe an obligation to have some regard to your health and safety. They've got a sort of sufficiently proximate relationship. And um, that's the first stage of a three-stage test for, for winning a claim. So the duty of care is simply us illustrating that the person we're blaming for the accident actually has an obligation to have some regard to your health and safety. From the perspective of an employer's liability claim, um, the good news is that all employers owe all employees that obligation to have regard to their health and safety whilst going about their duties in work. What's very important is that we're going to need to be able to prove what we're alleging. So it's one thing to be able to say that uh, the accident has occurred and we think that's someone else's fault, but uh, invariably that won't necessarily be accepted by the employer or by the defendant insurer. So it's really important to have supporting evidence such as witness testimony from people who might have seen what happened and will verify your account as a, as a client, um, or alternatively for there to be documents in support, so perhaps accident book entries or um, reports of previous near misses and things like that. We've basically got to discharge the evidential burden to win the case, that obligation's on the claimant, um, and any evidence such as that is, is what we need to try to illustrate our arguments.